Hey y'all, so I have a word for you guys. I feel the Lord saying that this is a season of crucifixion. This is the same season that I am in right now. Um, but he just put this in my spirit so heavily. I was reading the book of Mark and I was reading the part where Jesus was being crucified and the soldiers, although he was being crucified after they had crucified him, they were using casting lots basically in biblical times that's like a way of gambling um to figure out which one of them are getting which part of his cloth so they were like dividing his clothes and seeing which part um they can get so basically they were mocking him they were mocking him in a way saying oh he's the king of kings so i'm gonna use this cloth to try to divide it since he's so valuable but little did they know that was the same cloth the same clothes that healed the woman with the issue of blood just by touching his garment she was healed um from her issue of blood that she was dealing with for 12 years so when I was reading the part where he was being crucified, it was just so funny to me because I kept reading, reading. I was like, they're dividing um, his clothes and casting lots. I was like, what does that even mean? And why are they doing that? This season, God gave me a revelation about this is your season of crucifixion. A lot of the times when your enemies or when the enemy himself is mocking you, he's mocking you because it is a clear indicator of who you are. It is a clear indicator of who you are and how God is gonna use you. So a lot of the times when you hold power, when you hold power and you have anointing or a calling on your life, the enemy, he cannot touch you. So the only thing he can do is mock you because no matter what is happening, no matter what is going on, no matter what it is, it's working out for the glory of God. It's working out in the will of God. So even though Jesus was getting crucified, he was getting crucified and he um, made fun of and they were even the people that were up there with him the other criminals were saying why don't you bring yourself down why don't you do this since you're this and you know the soldiers were mocking him dividing up his clothes and all these things but the reason the real reason why they were doing these things was because they understood the power that he had they just didn't understand why why he wasn't doing anything about it if he held power but what the lord revealed to me is that although jesus did a lot of miracles it was not what he did in the miracles in the casting out demons that brought him glory in the end it wasn't in that and it wasn't in how much people followed him it was in the last moments of him bearing the darkest time of his ministry is what made his glory show the most isn't that crazy it was in that moment where he was able to bear the most in his moment where he was the weakest and he couldn't do anything and the enemy the only thing he can do in that moment was mock him because the enemy knew in that moment victory was won the battle was won but isn't it funny how in jesus's weakest moment where he's not saying nothing he just does a loud breath cry after dying and he just allows these people to mock him where he's in his weakest moment. Isn't it crazy that it is in that moment that led to the most glorious part of his ministry? It wasn't the casting out the demons. It wasn't the moving in power. It wasn't in any of that. It was in the moment where he bared and took in the most pain. It was in his humblest moment 
So the Lord is saying, it's not about what you do or how much you do, but how much you can bear and how much you can take. That is a clear indicator of who you are and how you're going to win the battle and how you're going to get to where God is calling you to be. And it is in those moments, your enemies or whoever is against you is going to mock you, mock you, intimidate you because they cannot touch you. See, the enemy knows who you are. That's why the soldiers were making fun of him saying, this is the king of the Jews. Take dividing off his clothing saying, oh, he's so, why are you wanting his clothes? If you're killing him, if he's not so worthy, it's because they understand who he really is. It's just that they cannot get close to him or touch them. So they're doing everything they can. So the Lord is saying, this is your season of crucifixion. You are fighting a battle, fighting a battle in the physical but it's a, it's a physical manifestation of what is happening in the spiritual. Because the spirit of God lives in you, spirits that are fighting you, they're not fighting you. They're, they're fighting the spirit of God in you. What you are facing, all it is, is an indication of the spirit that dwells in you. Because it is a threat to the kingdom of darkness. So God is saying the way he's going to raise you and bring you forth to the masses or public won't be in a way that seems ideal. Because his way is not our ways, right? Because the way that God's glory was shown was not an ideal way in putting Jesus in the cross. That's why they were mocking him and making fun of him. So God is saying, what you're going through may not be ideal, but this is the way that he is going to show his glory through you. God is also saying, it's a time to get a revelation of who you are. It's time to get a revelation of who you are and the spirit that lives within you. God is going to fight your battles. All you have to do is just be there. Jesus didn't even do nothing. He just, he was just there. No matter what was happening, he stood on his post. He was there bearing everything, taking everything. That's all he had to do. And the rest was done. We have to get our body, our minds out of the old way that we think it's going to happen for us because the way God is going to do it may not be ideal. And the things that we're going through may not be ideal. But God is saying it's indication, a clear indication of who you are, what he has put inside you. And he's also saying the victory is already won. The victory is won. If you could just go through that pain a little longer. If you could just go through and bear what it is, that mockery, that humiliation a little longer and allow God strength, lean on his strength and not yours, you will be able to see his glory. So that is the word that I had for you guys. And this is the same season I'm in, a season that's really hard and um, a lot just been going on. But God has spoke to me clearly and said that the victory is already won and that this is just your process. It's just your crucifixion. It's just what you had to go through from the time you was born to the time now to get to where I need you to be.